Tomas. Hey, Val. Uh, what's up? What do you want? Nothing, just uh, checking in, you know, w want to see what's going on. Uh, on a totally unrelated note, though, you busy right now? Okay, spit it out. Did your car break down on the way to Jared's? Did you forget the cat? No, 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 uh, nothing like that. Um, I did make it to Jerry Boy's house, all right. And I'll have you know, I did bring the cat tracks. But, um, that being said, I did encounter what you might call a mild bump in the road. Did he see you spiking the drink? You didn't mess up the job, did you? We don't have another Joe situation, do we? No, 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 absolutely not. Um, everything went pretty smoothly, actually. Um, I, I came in, he moped about, complained about his girlfriend. Ex? What? His ex-girlfriend? Well, yeah, that's why he contacted us, right? Yeah, um, yeah, continue. Well... And you're sure no one else is here? I'm gonna flip up. Jerry... This is important, Jerry. No one could be here. Not even your cat. Yeah. Yeah, my roommate's at his aunt's house or something. The cat's out back. Dead certain. No one's gonna come in. This could turn your brain too much. You don't want to be known as Jello for brains, do you? No. Are you sure this is gonna work? I, I don't know how much longer I can go on. Mary, Jerry, pull yourself together, man. She's one girl. You're young. You have your whole life ahead of you. You don't understand too much. She was my life. Jerry, listen to me. He starts up with the waterworks, you know, sobbing away about how much he loves her, how no one else can compare to her, blah, blah, blah. The usual spiel, you know? Then we get to the reason why I'm there. He tells me, I just want to forget. Take the hurt away. Lose that longing type feeling. So of course, you being the good Samaritan, you help him out, right? Yeah, the big scam, of course. He stops his blobbering and we get down to business. Okay, I have the cure for what else? you? Best damn head medicine out there. So chin up. It'll be over soon. Now, tell me what you really like about this girl. And if you say everything, I swear to God I'm gonna throat punch you. I don't know. Her hair. I like her hair. Be more specific. What about her hair? Her hair in general? Her long hair. I like her long hair and the way it smells, I guess. Does that sound weird? Hey man, I ain't judging. Loads of people are into weirder stuff. I guess it's the shampoo she uses or something, but I still smell her all the time in my car, on my clothes, in my room. It's good. It's just little things like that. You're doing good. Keep going. The, the fat in her face? I mean, like, she's not fat, but like she has this baby fat in her face and it, it fills it out in a way that um, looks nice. Yeah, great. Anything else about her? She just has this charisma, this magnetic personality, mm -hmm. energy, and that's what kills me about this whole thing. No matter how much I want to call her a bitch, I just can't. Okay, all right, stop right there. Okay, cut all the sappy crap. We could sit here waxing eloquent all day about, um, what's her name? Ellen. About Ellen, or we can fix this issue. All right. Mm -hmm. Drink this. What is it? It's something to help calm the nerves, make you more susceptible to hypnotherapy. Make sure you drink all of it. You ready, Jerry? What's that? What, this whole thing? <laughs> this is an ancient Turkish humming whirly gig. In the Sultan's court, it was used as a catalyst for hypnotherapy. Today, we'll be using it for the same. Satisfied? Now, look here. Stare at the mask and nothing else. Okay, I need you to concentrate. Stay with me or this won't work. Take in the blankness. Let it swallow you. Consume you even. There's nothing but a blank canvas. Good. Now stare at the top. 
with the same intensity. But think about her. Think of everything about her. What attracts you to her, what rebuffs you. Think of the tiny hairs on the back of her neck that stand when she's cold. Think of her laughter. Picture her eyes. Imagine her voice. And slowly, let it slip away like sand through your fingers. Okay? Any images of her, erase them. Replace one detail with another. Confuse the good with the bad. Make her obnoxious. Make her ugly. Make her someone you couldn't stand a minute with. I want you to think of every single moment you made together. And the feelings you get when you think of those moments, let them fade away. I want you to associate those moments with the color gray. Because they mean nothing now. Any positive association you have with her memory is now dust. You hold no feelings for that girl. Not hate, no love, good or bad. Nothing. She's a thing of the past. Her face is like my mask. Empty, devoid of anything. If you saw her now, you wouldn't even recognize her. No. Do the same for me. Think of my facial features. Now think of my mask. Take all the discernible, unique things about my face and make them as blind as beige. We never met. In fact, instead of meeting me, you had a very late night and you slept in. And all those memories are gone or replaced. And we're done here. Now, I'm gonna need you to sleep. And dream of the color white. of the house, but remember, only take things of value. Yeah. We didn't do all this for junk. Got it. All right. Hey, hey, Tomas, Tomas. I don't think you guys breathing. I don't. He doesn't have a pulse either. We gotta call someone. Minor bump in the road. A minor fucking bump in the road. You're currently in possession of a body, and you call that a minor bump in the road? Tomas, you murdered the guy. Jesus, how much catamine did you give him? I don't know. A couple tablets. Tyler mixed it. Okay. You let Tyler mix it. Since when have we ever let Tyler do something as precise as that? Look, just what do I do with it? Get rid of it! I, I've never dealt with something like this before. I don't know what to do. I honestly don't know how I'm not more panicked, alright? I think I'm in shock. Christ, look, I can't go back in that room, okay? Right? It's this fucking mausoleum. Okay, listen. You hang tight. I'll be there in 15. Okay, alright. 